When George Floyd was killed, it was like watching my husband get killed all over again. I felt for them so much because like I said, I'm still grieving and it's been six years. Can you just first tell us who Eric Garner was and is to you? He raised my two oldest daughters as his own, and we had four more children, two boys and two girls. He was the light of my life. He should be here to enjoy watching my grandchildren grow, watching his daughters walk down the aisle, seeing his son's first basketball game in college. I miss him, you know, and I miss him more Every day they say, you know, you get over it. You never get over it. You learn to deal with it. I killed that Thursday. Saturday, we did a march. Sunday, I got to rest. And then every day since then, up until two years ago, I was here, there, and everywhere, you know, doing interviews. So I never really had a chance to grieve. You know, I never had a chance to cry. Even at the funeral, it was just so much hoopla. It was all about the cameras and, you know, it was not about me and my children grieving the loss of my husband and their father. I wish they would stop playing my husband's video. When George Floyd got killed immediately, it was a split screen, you know, him on one side, my husband on the other. When I see the video, it just brings me back to July 17th of 2014 all over again. I could be sitting here watching TV and the next thing you know, you'll see it splash across the screen. Black Lives Matter, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Ted Mayor Rice, all these names, you know, Ramal Ramali Graham, you know, Sean Bell. It just all comes back to you, you know? And then when you meet these mothers and these wives, it makes it personal for you to know that they're going through what you went through or they're gonna go through what you went through. The fact that she fought so hard and it caused such a strain on her and she was so passionate about getting justice for her dad, that it affected her in a monumental way. It ultimately took her life because she was stressed. She was stressed out. Justice would have been him going to jail and, and suffering the consequences of his actions, being accountable. We didn't receive justice. We've received some form of justice through um, him being fired and hopefully never being able to be a police officer again and do this to someone else. Ms. Snipes Gardner, how has the death of your husband affected you and your family? It's horrible. After being with somebody for 26 years, for them to leave out the door and not come back that day, you're expecting to see them and then they don't come back home. You get a phone call telling you that he's laid out on the street and can't breathe and they're trying to revive him. Objection. As, you know. Sustained.
keep fighting, keep protesting. We gotta make change. We have to have change. We have to have police reform. I just wanna say that for the George Floyd family, my heart goes out to you and I know what you're about to endure and just stay strong and don't give up the fight. We have to fight for equal justice for everybody.